Oh no, I got blue slime. I'm covered in blue slime. Hello, Jello. Blueberry Jello. Give me your balls. <laughs> Alright, guys, come at your zero here. Got plays Minecraft, and we're on the Xbox One. This is my slime farm that I worked a little bit on the other day. Added a couple more floors here. And this one's still under construction. And then I think I'm going to have to check my map and figure out what floor I'm on because I might be able to go up higher. And so here, this is our uh, skeleton spawner that we've had the whole time. And uh, we actually, hear that clicking? I'll show you something in a minute. But we actually have augmented that because there was a double zombie dungeon up here. And so the, this is one of the spawners is over there, one of them is over there. And if you stand about here or so, you know, eventually you're going to get a bunch of zombies coming down. They go past here and they feed down into here. And then while they're grouping up and then coming through, you can go down here and get skeletons, and then you get, you know, constant stream of mobs. And actually what I've done is I have two controllers, and as, as a little sneaky trick, what I've done is I've, I've uh, logged in with a, with a guest account and had my other guy stand up there. And then I just get like a steady, steady stream of uh, mobs here. So it, it works really well. Uh, that's just one little trick you can do. They're they're too far away to, to do them all together with uh, just standing here, but you know, or even back here, because the skeleton spawner's right about there, so it's just a little bit too far. Just doesn't quite reach. But anyway, the other thing I did was I've I've redone our collection area, and as you can see there, he's standing in a hopper. And I really wanted to show you this because I worked forever on this the other day. See, here comes a zombie. I can hear him. I worked forever on this the other day. And uh, so there's these hoppers here. There's a zombie. There's these hoppers here, and they're feeding this way towards all these chests. And so what I did was I've got these filtered. And I'll show you how to do that maybe in another video. Uh, it's a really cool trick. But the only thing that comes into these chests is arrows. And so there's 62 arrows in there now. If I kill some... You know, that last slot had 62. So if I kill some skellies... Now there's 64, see? Now there's another one. There they go. So, this one is filtered. So the stuff comes through here in hoppers. Sorry. <laughs> I can't stop it. I, once I kill one, I just want to kill them all. Grr, gut angry. No, just kidding. Okay. So anyway, this is the arrows. This one, this stack here is just going to be stacks of bones. And then this is basically everything else. Anything else. And in fact, a few bones come through, a few arrows come through. Um, but it's no big deal. And then eventually these will fill up. And then anything above and beyond that will get destroyed. So I'll show you how it works. Okay, so see, that's that edge, right? And uh, stuff comes over under there to there, and then it comes over to here. And then this one feeds into this. Now this is a dropper, and this dropper faces up. And this is dropper, 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 dropper. So that's a tower of droppers, and all of them face up. And whenever this one has an item in it, it signals this comparator. That sends a signal here. This signal splits. This signal here, the redstone signal, fires a torch that's on the other side of this block. It changes that torch. And then back and forth, there's torches like a zigzag. See, there's that's the one that's the first one. And so the torches zigzag up there. 
And so what they do is they one, two, three, each one triggers one of these hoppers or droppers. I'm sorry, droppers. So it comes from the hopper. Item goes in here. Signal goes here. And it fires the dropper to, to, to shoot the item up to this dropper. And then that torch fires, shoots it up there. The other torch shoots it up there, up to the very top. And then the other thing it does is when the signal comes out here, then it comes around this corner. And then there's a delay. And that signal actually acts as a clock. And that signal makes this thing fire again. So that way the dropper there doesn't fill up with items. It continues to fire in a pattern. And every time it fires, then it shoots the droppers. And when this thing's empty, then it stops. As long as there's items in there, it'll just keep going in a pattern. And so then it'll keep firing up. It's hard to explain, but it, it works pretty well. And now what happens here is, on top, okay, so here's the top dropper, and everything that comes out of that dropper goes into this water supply goes into this sluice here. And anything, the first the first filter here is for arrows. Okay, and so if I look in there, I have one arrow in each of these slots, and then this arrow I had 64 in. And that hopper there feeds into, or, or goes to this comparator. Whenever there's enough items in there, it signals the comparator to shoot out redstone power. And the redstone power goes out here to here. Underneath here is, I don't want to destroy this, but I guess I will. So underneath there is a um, diode um, repeater. And so when the power is strong enough to reach over to here, meaning that there's enough items in there, then that fires the repeater, and the repeater changes this torch to off. And when that torch turns off, that allows this hopper here to let stuff through. So therefore, the only time that this hopper activates is if there's an extra arrow. And so if you add too many arrows in here, there we go. So if you add too many arrows in there, so I have five in my inventory, right? So we'll watch that. There's a little bit of a signal there, you'll see, because there's some items already in that hopper, right? But it doesn't reach to here. That's the trick. So if there's one more arrow, it'll reach to there. See that one lit up? And when that happened, that let that dropper, that let that uh, hopper underneath there. Yep, oh, see it? Did you see that light? And when that happened, that let that dropper, that uh, hopper, I'm sorry, underneath there process, okay, because that, turned this torch off. And so when that one processed, it let an arrow through, and then the arrows just come down here and they sort into these chests here. So these chests can only hold arrows. Now if that hopper ever fills up, then uh, instead of gumming up the works, what will happen is um, that hopper on top will fill up and eventually all of the extras will just come through here and, and be destroyed. Now that could be a problem because if the top one filled all the way up, uh, all, all of the slots on the top one filled all the way up, then that would be a problem. But in fact, it will not ex if it accepts another uh, arrow, it's just filling up that one slot, and I don't think it's going to be a problem. So I think when that one slot there, when I think when this slot here hit 64. I don't think these will fill up anymore with arrows. But I could be wrong. 
In fact, you know what? Just to make sure, I should probably use something instead of arrows. And that'll work too. That's a really good idea, and I'm glad I talked this through with you guys. And I should use something different than, than bones here. This one will take anything. It doesn't matter what comes through. This one will take anything. It doesn't matter what comes through. So we'll have six double chests full of armor and zombie meat and, you know, whatever. But when they're full, then all the extra stuff will just get burned up. And then when we take stuff out, those, you know, more stuff will sort down into those, into those chests. So we won't ever lose stuff, really. Okay. And what I did find, though, is if you, if you block this off, then it works better. For some reason, it, it keeps it from... I think that thing throws them pretty far. So this kind of slows it down and creates drag on top. And so then the stuff falls in there. And I think I might do like a separate episode where I just kind of build this in creative to kind of show you what I was doing. But I spent a couple hours getting this to work. Uh, this design uh, here is not one that I invented, obviously. Uh, I found this all over the internet. Uh, a lot of YouTubers have done it. Um, it took me a while to figure out. I always want to figure out how this stuff works for myself. Uh, I won't say I improved on it, but I will say that I did figure out how it works. And so that, to me, is an accomplishment in and of itself. Because, you know, some of this redstone stuff, I mean, you basically need to be a rocket scientist. I'm sorry, you really do. <laughs> and then uh, the dropper tower, this is also another one that's pretty standard. Although I did change this so that it would have the clock on it. Because the, the one I looked at... The, hopper, the droppers would fill up with stuff to a certain point or something. I just didn't really like it, so I put a timer on there too. But even, I'm sure that's been done by a million other people, and they probably actually did a better job than me too. So who knows? I mean, that's the fun thing about redstone. Uh, there's, there's, if you can get it to work, you know, that's good enough. So anyway, we got, we got things going on here in the Skelly Farm. We got uh, all kinds of sorting going on. And uh, we've got uh, all kinds of uh, zombies and skeletons and uh, good old slimes going on. And I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends. And I will catch you later. Oh, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a high to video. Uh, and um, if a couple people say it, then I'll do it. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Tradition.